All right, guys. So before we get started, I just want to put this clip over here because this is my dealer, my car dealer yesterday in Mercedes. Boris, he did this funny thing. Oh, he's so funny. All right. It's a whole apple. Okay. No, stop. Okay. Whole apple, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, how did you do that? <laughs> amazing. Hey boys, don't forget. I need a new custom LED lights on Monday, so. What's up guys, it's Coco, and today we're having Jewish food. Hooray! All right guys, so today it's a little bit different. Jewish food. Whoever's Jewish, leave a comment. So I got like tons of stuff. Stuff, stuff. These are latkes. Like potatoes made in a pancake form. Those are what do you call lock, latkes? All right, for the main deal, I got lox and bagel, my favorite. And matzo ball soup. Oh my God, yes. You guys, lox and bagel on a sandwich. Yes, potato chips. I have half of a brisket sandwich. Jewish people love brisket. Anything brisket to eat. They're a brisket people. They love brisket. That's just half because, you know, I'm not going to finish it. And this one... I'll show you. Is a kanish. Also made from potatoes. I'm gonna put it here so you can see. These are the latkes, lox and bagel, and the kanish. I am so excited. Let's eat. I'm not a huge um, Jewish food person. I've never had Jewish food in my entire life until I met my ex boyfriend, which is Jewish. <laughs> Mmm. The matzo ball soup tastes like just chicken noodle soup without the noodles, but you can add noodles. That's exactly what it tastes like. Matzo ball soup is like chicken noodle. With this ball right here. I forgot what this is made of. Yum. So, I have good news and bad news for you guys. My number one good news is I just got my new car yesterday. Yay! So excited. And I returned my car this morning. My Nissan lease. So yeah. I'm excited. Let's try the latkes, you guys. Let's just use our hands because I think there is a applesauce in here and sour cream. It looks like it's fried and it just looks like a pancake that's a potato. It's creamy. Mm. Almost like hash browns. What I'm gonna say though, that this, these latkes are like, it tastes like it's for kids. Yummy. And then my bad news is, um, my dad told me that he just canceled our Europe trip on June because they're seriously like bad, um, spreading number of coronavirus in Europe right now. Not just in Europe, but like internationally, like everywhere. I mean, I feel bad. He said, he just let's just do it next year, but I can't even travel. I'm sad. All right, I'm just putting the cream cheese inside. This lox. This is what I always crave, the lox and bagel. The bagel. Mmm. 
The onions are so good. Red onions and salmon. I do not care for the capers though. So yeah, my dad said that um so yeah, my dad is just like better safe than sorry. Cuz for that reason. Lockers Let's try the Kanish. I've only ate Kanish once. When me and my ex-boyfriend were like in a community, a Jewish community, like something. I was so hungry and there was just like one kiosk that sells food. And the only food that they sell is Kanish. I was like, what is that? And he was like, Kanish, that's pretty good. Just try it. I was like, okay, I don't have a choice. That's the only food there. So it's like a puff pastry and inside is like a potato. It's like a baked potato inside of a pastry. And you can add anything. You can like make it like a loaded potato. Oop. Wow. It's very It's very simple, like baked potato inside a puff pastry. But so like you know, comforting to eat. I love when my lox and bagel and my bagel is toasted. This isn't toasted, but it's fine. You gotta have good teeth when you're eating this. For the past week, I have not been getting the traffic that I want here on YouTube. I'm not doing great. My views this week, this past few weeks, because I haven't done any like fast food or anything. But you know me, I want this channel to be to be for everybody, like the entire world, for every single part of the world, in every language. So, I'm not just gonna try like all fast food, you know, like other mukbangers like eat like McDonald's and KFC every day. I know those get views, but we're trying to do a different thing here. <laughs> and I love trying new things. I love trying new things. I just try, I just want to try every food, you know? I like trying new things. And I love fast food too. So. But we can all switch it up. We got Diet Pepsi here, caffeine free. Oh my gosh, I've been busy like every single day. There's always something to do with me. Mm. Mm. By the way, if you don't know what lox is, it's like smoked salmon. Smoke cured salmon. So like when you eat it, it's like raw, but not really. Hmm. Alright guys, so since we're eating Jewish food, let's just talk about my eggs, shall we? I know him, he doesn't like watch YouTube, he doesn't watch what I'm doing, he doesn't, he doesn't care about me, and like his family doesn't like care. Well, I know they care, his family is really nice, but I know they don't like watch my YouTube and everything, and there's a lot of videos anyway, he's, they're not gonna like, 
see all the conversation that I have in the videos, but let's just talk about him. <laughs> let's just talk about him. Shall we? This is not talking behind his back. It's just like sharing what we can, you know, relate to each other. I love red onions on sandwiches. It's just the best. Mm. So, we were together for like two years. That was pretty long. Is it two or three? You know, I'm not even sure. Something like that. Two to three. Two, two to three. And those were like on and off. Let's try to brisket actually. He's like two years younger than me. Overall, he's a nice guy. Nice guy, right? Hmm. It's a lot of meat. A lot of meat and like the bread is so soft. Whoa. We have their ups and downs. Sorry, sometimes I'm talking and like my mouth is full. Sometimes we have our ups and downs. Like we would fight and, and we think like we're the worst people ever. But you know what? Overall, overall I think I'm the nicest girlfriend and he's the nicest boyfriend. Kind of thing, you know. But it didn't work out. That's fine. Nothing works out these days, okay? We just have to agree that change is what's permanent these days um first year he was just like 24 like he's having fun he's like in the university of wisconsin style so i would drive there back and forth like an hour and a half like every day back and, back and forth so i would like travel three hours every day to see him and he would always like cheat on me um yeah Corrine how do you know it's because I'm a girl and I'm a psycho so I have a lot of FBI like skills too like one time like listen to this one time there's this software that you can actually like install in their phone and pair it with your computer or your phone so whatever like calls and texts that they receive or they send you can actually like have it too like it will it's recording like you're seeing it too like you have it paired like a bluetooth like you can see it on your phone whatever he's Texting whoever's uh, texting him whoever he's calling you can hear it. It would like be a voicemail and you can listen to it So yeah, I know I know I'm the like one of the most techiest girlfriend ever So nobody can fuck with me That's fine. That's an experience. That's the first year Oh blah second year I found on his phone that um, he was in transition of being a transgender. <laughs> if you don't know what a transgender is, it's like a a guy or a girl who dresses as the opposite sex. So they want to be the opposite. So he's a guy. He wants to be a woman. So he dresses as a woman. How do I find this out? Ask me again. Of course, my phone skills. I know this is like a really private like thing to share, but 
when I experienced that, I didn't feel anything. Like, like I saw in the pictures that he was dressing as a woman, like, and I was kind of just like okay with that. You know why? It's because he's a human being. Like, gays are not gays because they chose to be gays. Like, you can't choose. Like, it's not their fault that they feel this way kind of thing, you know? Like, what if I feel like I want to dress up as a man? Like, what if I feel like I want a penis? Like, that's not my fault, you know what I mean? So, when I found that out, and he was kind of hiding it at first, but after probably, like, weeks and weeks at me just, like, getting mad that he already said yes, like, he confessed to it. It's not his fault that he's like that, but I know that he hides it from his family and his parents because, you know, like, they're gonna, he always says that they're gonna disown him, blah, 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 but. So he continues to hide it from his parents, but I know his mom knows because his mom does his laundry and his mom would see, like, women's underwear and stuff you know i know you can laugh about it but it's like this is like reality like sometimes we think that the sex in the world is just women and men no it's not there's so much more sexes in this world like it's not just gay lesbian men and women there's so much more like, if you live in California, there's, like, so much more, like, sex and genders. And that's okay. I'm not against that. That's why I wasn't mad. I accepted him. I was okay with it. I honestly, like, I accepted it for the fact that it's not his fault and he was just a human being. And the fact that I just really don't know what to feel. You know, if you're in that situation, what would you feel? Like, your boyfriend... Is turning to be transgender what will you feel or like your girlfriend is like lesbian okay maybe that's a dream come true but for guys but you know what i mean hopefully he doesn't watch this video <laughs> i'm sure he doesn't he has a girlfriend right now His girlfriend right now is like Filipino too. Isn't that weird? So yeah, that was our story. And we broke up because... I don't know. I forgot how we broke up. More latkes? This is like a applesauce syrup. Not syrup, applesauce puree to dip the latkes with. Honestly, I don't like the caniche that much. It's pretty plain for me. It's just like a baked potato and a puff pastry. Again, I said that, but you know what I'm talking about. What are we talking about, guys? Mm. I don't know how we broke up or why. I mean, it's just... Oh, I know why we broke up. I was just not in love with him anymore. We've been through so much, and it's just... It was time... I want to do something else. I felt like I was doing every day, like same shit every day with him, kind of thing. It wasn't like I didn't want to be with him. It's just like I was sick of what was happening. Like I wanted to do something else, like something new for myself. Like I was young, still young, okay. I think that was the most experience that I had with a relationship. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Mm-hmm. And he loves coming to my house because, like, my mom always cooks, like, rice and meat. And he loves rice and meat. Like... I always try to go out and eat. Like, I love trying out new restaurants. And he would like, just come here and, like, is your mom going to cook? Is your mom going to cook? I'm like, no, let's go out. I want to go out. So it was to the point where, like, 
Oh my god, I'm making so much messes here. It was to the point where we were just not doing anything but like going out eating and that's it, you know? There's nothing. I think there was just nothing to look forward to. So yeah. Did you guys have any experiences with that kind of like relationship? Like what kind of relationship have you guys had? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk. I want to talk about relationships. And I'm not really up to having a relationship any sooner. I just don't want to. Hmm. I used to like roll my eyes on like girls or guys who says I don't have time for a relationship and I would say if you love someone you always have time for them and you make time for them but I'm like but I'm like I'm in that situation right now where I really don't have a time for a relationship <laughs> like like I'm so busy if I like squeeze in a relationship like that means that I need to always have dinner with them and lunch and like have cuddle time and you know what I mean? And that means that I'm not gonna go to the gym or miss my therapy or like miss two mukbangs or like not work at night. You know what I mean? I don't wanna lose all that. I'm just like busy like trying to build my career right now that I just, that can wait, you know? That can wait. When it comes, when it comes, don't force it. Just like, I told you that stupid story of my Tinder dates. Like, I had a face where I went to Tinder dates. Nothing happened. It's because you really can't force it. When it comes, it comes. I believe in that. Because honestly, when you force it, it won't happen. It never happens. It happens on, like, the weirdest like circumstance honestly multiple soup super plain i didn't even need that all right guys i'm tapping out i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next one bye guys